Hello friends, welcome to Dudier Academy. In this video, I have I am discussing the topic research problem that is selection of a research problem or selecting a research problem. So I will be discussing what are the factors to consider when selecting a research problem. So it is important to take into uh, account some of the important factors uh, when we are selecting the research problem and that include the significance of the problem then researchability feasibility and interest to the researcher these are the four important points to remember when selecting a research problem first is the significance of the problem then the researchability then feasibility and interest to the researcher first is the significance of the problem significance of the problem the researcher needs to determine whether conducting the study will expand the nursing knowledge base. So when we are selecting a research problem in nursing, we should uh, first determine, the researcher should determine whether it will be expanding the body of knowledge in nursing. That is the first one. Then second, it helps to, uh, whether it uh, helps to improve the nursing practice or policy and what is the benefit. To the patient or nurses or to the society so these are the three important uh, things that we have to take into account when uh, we are considering the significance of the problem first one is whether it is expanding the nursing knowledge base expanding the nursing knowledge base second one is whether it is improving the nursing practice or policy whether the study or the research problem is improving the nursing practice or policy and the third one is what is whether it will be benefiting to the patient to the nurse or to the society so these are the three important factors we have to take into consideration so by taking uh, these points uh, into our mind and when we are selecting the topics there are a lot of different topic areas which has importance in nursing and these topic areas which has significance in nursing include the first one is the clinical intervention studies which will generate the evidence based nursing practice so important topic areas include first one is the in the hospital or in the clinical intervention studies can be done that will be uh, generating the evidence based nursing practice another area is based on the practice standards in various nursing specialities in different uh, areas whether it can be in the medical surgical areas or in pediatric or in different areas there are uh, different practice standards so we can take that aspect and uh, the study can be conducted that is the practice standards in various nursing specialities then uh, the study can be done in nursing education that is regarding the measurement evaluation of competencies and innovation that is innovations in the teaching learning strategies and methods and uh, the devaluation of the teaching learning in all these aspects uh, the research can be done that's uh, another field of uh, concern is the nursing education then teaching strategies that is again coming in nursing education then manpower planning manpower or human resource planning is another area the next is the quality assurance in education and practice another area is the quality assurance and the maintenance of standards in education as well as in the practice in clinical as well as in educational uh, area what, uh, what about the quality assurance so that is another topic of importance the next is the development of tools development of tools in the measurement evaluation of all uh, education as well as in the practice uh, that include the development of the tools then testing of nursing theories and models and theory development so that is another important area testing of nursing theories and models then impact studies which are having policy implication for nursing education and uh, service we can uh, also do the impact studies that are having the policy implications for nursing education and service and also in the field of independent nursing practice okay the second uh, important factor or important factor to consider when selecting the research problem is researchability 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 means the problem does not involve any ethical or moral issues that is the first important point that is the problem that is selected 
uh, must not have any ethical issues or moral issues that is it, sh it should not have any issues concerning uh, the ethical considerations and all the variables can be defined and measured precisely that is all the variables that is uh, involved in the problem or in the problem statement uh, that should be defined properly and also it should be able to measure and the problem is specific enough to be manageable that the problem should be specific also so these are the important things that we have to note under the point researchability so first we discussed uh, regarding the the significance of the problem and the second is the researchability okay then third point is the the feasibility of the study that is the feasibility means regarding the time availability of the subjects and the cost and the equipments and the supplies that is the time means the study can be adequately completed within the allotted time that means uh, the study when we are choosing a research problem so within that allotted time uh, which we are uh, using or uh, which we are uh, determining to complete so within that time the study should be completed and the availability of the subjects should, we should be able to uh, complete the study within that time and the subjects should also be available the willing subjects are available to participate in the study so when we are taking the participant when the study uh, subjects that study subjects uh, should be we should be able to get the participants and also they should be willing also and the cost and equipment and the supplies means the sufficient funding facilities and equipments are available to complete the study so all these uh, factors are also important regarding the feasibility of the study then uh, remaining the remaining uh, points that is administrative support that means again uh, there should not be any ethical issues there should not be that is no unfair or unethical demands are imposed on the participants then peer support peer support means the co-workers are available and willing to cooperate with the study there should be a peer support administrative support and also researcher qualification the researcher has the expertise required uh, for investigating the particular research problem that is the qualification of the researcher those who are conducting the study they should have the adequate expertise in order to do that research uh, study so these are all the important factors to consider regarding the selection of the research problem uh, that is the feasibility of the study and it include the time availability of subjects then cost equipments and supplies then the administrative and peer support and the researcher qualification then another uh, point is the interest to the researcher that is the researcher should consider that uh, the levels of enthusiasm can be expected to rise and fall throughout the course of study so that is very important the, when the researcher is uh, doing this research study the researcher should have their interest it may vary uh, during the course of the study sometimes uh, there will be high level of enthusiasm and sometimes there will be uh, decrease in this level of enthusiasm anyway it is very important that researcher should have that interest to complete to uh, begin uh, to go through the study and also to complete the study and unless the problem is especially interesting and appealing the researcher may find the study too tedious and too difficult to complete so that is another important thing if the researcher is not finding interest in the problem uh, it, you know, the he or she may find it difficult to complete so that is another important point uh, that is from the part of the researcher the, the he or she should have that interest in doing the research study so these are the important things or important factors to consider when selecting the research problem so first is the first we discussed the significance of the problem then the researchability then feasibility and interest to the researcher so thank you thank you for watching this video